hot tubs are back in the sieves. Yeah! <laughs> hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here and I'm back with another video. This time I'm reviewing a new stuff pack. Wait, what? Another one already? Yeah, <laughs> this one's called Perfect Patio and it's to help make the most perf patios possible while your sieves dress in the most perfect patio clothing ever so uh, yeah gonna go and review this but uh, before I jump into the clothing I do want to point out uh, once again there's new music in the stuff pack but unlike luxury party stuff which came with like two songs there's a whole new radio station oh yes it's the backyard radio station and yeah as you can see there's five new songs and uh, while well, I can't really play for Play, uh, sorry, I can't play them for you because copyright YouTube. Uh, <laughs> I can describe it for you. So, Backyard is basically like country pop if you listen to each one of them. They're all really good songs. I like them a lot, especially uh, All Nighter by uh, Lindsay uh, L. There was actually like a little video that I saw on YouTube of her like recording some of that song. So it's kind of funny just hearing that in... Uh, just like the full uh, final version of it compared to uh, when she was recording in the booth. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out first because uh, a lot of reviews, I'm guessing, will have probably uh, either uh, just forgot about it or skipped over it. So yeah, all right, so let's get into the creative sim stuff. Right, so we're gonna start with the females and yeah, it's only one top for females. Usually they just go crazy with the female stuff and then almost completely ne ne neglect the males. But uh, yeah, here we have like this crop top. All of, whoa, there's so many colors. Whoa, and patterns. I love me some patterns. That's pretty great, wow. It's like in the base game, there were like some t-shirts and they, they were basic and then they only had four colors. I was like, what? WTF? And then it's like, well, this, this is the complete opposite, which is great. That's that's pretty awesome. All right, so that's it for the tops category. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's go to the hairs before I forget, because there's one new hair. The opinions on this one has been really the kind of like divided, but yeah, it's really interesting hairstyle with the braid in the front. Some people hate the braid. Some of the people love the braid. I think I like the braid, but I think they still should have included a version without the braid in it but I'm, I'm sure like if there isn't one already then like by the time this video is up there's going to be one on tumblr where it's like maxis match edits it takes away the bun and then there's and nothing else or like match edit and then it's like uh, longer hair so yeah i'm sure those will be on tumblr very soon if they're not already so let's just show a few different colors Looks pretty good in brown too. It's a little bit harder, I think, to see the braid in darker colors, but that's that's fine. Whatever. I, that's not really a complaint. I'm just pointing that out. But yeah, looks good in all colors, pretty much. All right. Yeah, no hats, unfortunately, no accessories or any of that stuff. So let's go back to the clothing. Uh, full body. Okay, there's more here. All uh, right. Uh, oh, this reminds me of a dress we got in like I think it was one of those '70s sets from the Sims 3 store. Yeah, it had a dress that looks pretty much exactly like this. Not that that's a complaint either. That's actually pretty nice because I did like that dress. Yeah, especially in this color. This is like the exact same color scheme. <laughs> that's cool. I don't mind seeing stuff from the Sims 3 return because yeah, the Sims 3 did have a lot of nice clothes, especially later on in its life cycle. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I love the opening in the back. All right, so the colors all look pretty good. And yeah, nice color choice. I think this brown one I might actually use at some point for some sim. I don't know, I almost feel like that could go with the rustic theme if you have it in that color. All right, so this is like a one piece bathing suit. Looks pretty good. I like this a lot. Reminds me of Master Suite stuff. For the Civs 3. Okay, yeah, that's like a nice back too. The brown, the green, the pinks, purple, yes, purple, white, yeah, gold, yellowish, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is the um, 
that's like the revealing swimsuit they showed off from uh, that picture on Twitter. Yeah, this is pretty cool. <laughs> it's just like another one of those things. It, 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 like in the luxury party stuff review, and there was like that jacket that had like that cleavage in the middle. I was like, whoa, that's like you know, pretty ballsy for The Sims. This this would get the same reaction for me, or not would. It is <laughs> because yeah, it is kind of like I don't know. It's just like the way it hugs the curves and just like the middle here. <laughs> I don't know, it's slightly risque. Not the most risque thing ever. I mean, there was stuff in the Master Suite stuff pack that was more risque, but still, yeah. Definitely going for that sexy vibe. Yeah, definitely like it a lot. Alright, so then there's also this, uh, oh, I forgot what they called this in the uh, description of the stuff pack, but uh, yeah, this like this apron with this happy burger on it, and then there's like a striped shirt underneath. Okay, good. Wow, so lots of colors and some stencil differences here. More happy hamburger, more lips. Okay. Alright, that's pretty nice. I'm not sure how often I'll use the apron. Oh, wait, here's an idea. With the bakery, use it with Get to Work. If you have that expansion pack, use that if you're running a bakery. Have your employees wear this. Um, hopefully the males have it, but that's what we're about to find out, so let's go do that. Alright, so there is a new hair for the males as well. So that's what it looks like. I don't know, it feels like... Uh, it's... It's like what we already have? I don't know. But we're talking about male hair here, it's not really as varied as female hair. But, I don't know, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Looks good in all the different colors, too. <laughs> yeah, you didn't like the crazy colors like that one. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think as far as my hairstyles go, it's like... Yeah, they don't really stand out to me unless there's something pretty crazy. Yeah, I actually, now that I think about it... Um, <laughs> The one one thing that uh, luxury party stuff could say, like, Yo, get wrecked, scrub, MLG horns, Mountain Dew spilled everywhere, all that stuff, is that, yeah, the luxury party stuff has the better male hairstyle, in my opinion, anyways. So there's this uh, shirt here. Not bad. Oh, whoa, it froze for a second. Hmm, I'm kind of surprised we don't have something like this already. I don't know. But, uh, again, the color choice is pretty good. I like this color a lot. And it's, yeah, just like another thing that I think would go with Outdoor Retreat and the Rustic theme if you want to do that. And then there's uh, this uh, color shirt right here. That's pretty nice. I like it. Oh, I like this color scheme a lot. Pink, red, red, green. Uh, I'm not too fan of this green one, but all the others I do like a lot. All right, uh, full body. Okay, good, they do have the apron. Do they have like similar ones? Hmm. It might be the same ones. I think they're the same ones. Yeah, that's pretty good then. That's pretty good. So yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a good thing to keep in mind that it, it could go pretty well with Get to Work. All right, so let's go to the bottom. Hmm. There's apparently something new. Or wait, is this a Get to Work thing? Uh, ah, whoa, uh, it scrolled, nope, it actually is perfect patio, alright, uh, so there's swim trunks, actually, I guess to show this off a little bit better, just <laughs> take those accessories off, okay, so let's show a few different colors here, alright, more swim trunks, I can't complain, there weren't really that, I, there wasn't really that much swimwear that came with the patch, but I mean, it was with the free update, so I'm not gonna rag on them for that, but... Yeah, it's really nice to have uh, some more swimwear, even if it is just like one thing. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let's just double check to make sure this is only one. Okay, yep, it is. But, yeah, pretty nice. I definitely will use these. There's no question about that. Um, I, is, th is that one new? I don't think so. 
I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that's... Uh, yes. Yeah, that's get to work. Never mind. That was just one that I didn't check out for some reason. But, yeah. Alright, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, there's also one more thing for the children. I almost <laughs> forgot. There's a male hairstyle. What? Okay. So, uh... Okay, that's what it looks like without accessories. Looks totally different. But then when we take this off... Yeah! That looks awesome! Reminds me of the 90s. The era of which I was born. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that I'll be using this one at some point. It's just a matter... It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when. Oh, it's just... Yep, I covered all the Creative Sim stuff now, so uh, I will get back to you in a minute. I'll set up all of the objects in Perfect Patio, and yeah, BRB guys! Alright, I'm back. So there is one room included with Luxury Party stuff. So there's this backyard cod fine, and it comes in a few different colors. There's like this green one, purple, yes. Red and uh, blue, which is the one that I have placed out there. So, yeah, let's take a look at each object here. Go to the live mode just in case I use tab, but yeah, so let's start off with Lazy Game Reviews' favorite thing ever chairs. So uh, there's uh, this wicker chair here. It looks so nice. I love it. And uh, there's more color varieties than just these, there's quite a variety of them. But uh, you can see some of them for yourself. I just want to show off an example of a few different styles so you get a little taste. But uh, yeah, there's more chairs over here. These like patio chairs and these are really nice too. Nice and modern and they just, I don't know, they, they kind of just nailed the style of these. And this color in particular right over here reminds me of the Ultra Lounge set. Specifically the outdoor portion. Like the chairs look, I, mean, I think, exactly like this. I hope I'm not the only one who thinks that. Uh, that's not a complaint either, because I love the Ultra Lounge theme from the Sims 3 store. So it is nice to see something from that here. And uh, yeah, like with these uh, tables as well. They share the same color schemes as these chairs. And then there's this really nice coffee table over here. Very nice, definitely something I'm used to seeing in a lot of homes nowadays. Then there's this other table. It had an interesting name. I forget what it was called. It was like Plank something. Hold on, let's go into the buy mode super quick. And then I can also read one of the other object descriptions because people who write these descriptions don't get enough love. All right, so let's go to here. Filter them items by perfect patio, not electronics. Surfaces. Um, Oh, eat the plank. Yeah. Yar, when pirates be missing thar ships and they want a right good meal, perhaps a cup of grog, they rip apart thar ship and eat on their patio on the eat the plank table. <laughs> what? Okay. Or if you don't buy this marketing nonsense, it's perfectly fine patio table. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to read off the one for this really cute light over here. Uh, all right, it's the uh, candle's crib. It's a it's a little metal house for a candle. Is that adorable? Maybe it's a cage. It's slightly less adorable. <laughs> I interpret that sleek table of light. It's up to you. But yeah, it is a really nice light. It uh, comes in uh, in pretty much like the same uh, color scheme as well. So yeah, this light I will definitely use a lot. I really like this. So look at this candle. Let's go into live mode and pause this so you can see it animate. There we go. Really, really nice. Okay, so then uh, over here, there's also these life-size chess pieces. How random. Reminds me of Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, those also come in like a bunch of different colors as well. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's like, you have like pink chess pieces if you want to. Go all Katy Perry sweet treats on these things. <laughs> Yeah, if, if that's how you want to play, then you can definitely do that. And then there's also this really nice patio table with the umbrella attached to it. It's all one object. 
Yeah, that's pretty nice. And then there's also this so-called space turkey over here. Man, how genius is that? Uh, I don't know, but uh, you could maybe use this in like an art gallery or something. Or if your sims are really artistic and they just like, they just want to show off something that's weird for maybe the sake of being weird, uh, then this is a great object for them. There's also these lights uh, there are sort of lights that you just place on the ground. I think they're kind of like meant to just be like uh, lined up so you can make like a little path. So I'll just quickly go into nighttime so you can just see that in action here. All right. Uh, oh, whoops, I kind of skipped it. But yeah, they kind of light up. Pretty neato. And then there's these hedges over here pretty nice so yeah as you see there's like the one tile version and then there's a the bigger two tile version and uh, there's also this uh, bar over here and then uh, on both sides of it I put the uh, new uh, counter island piece then there is the new counter the new grill which can fit perfectly with the counters if you hold down the alt key to align them perfectly which is really great. I love that a lot, that the the grill actually matches with the counters. And then uh, there's this uh, like uh, cutlery uh, decor. Pretty nice. I mean, yeah, clutter really helps uh, add to the immersion of the game. And then there's also like these uh, sauces or something. You know what? This probably also is a really hilarious object description. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay, I think that's like a guess work object over there. All right, uh, perfect patios, uh, decorative, and all. Uh, sauce the pig's bread. <laughs> Whether it's hickory honey and Carolina mustard or vinegar smoked or honey with a hint of salad spice or tug scorching rib marinade or just the dabble of tangy steak sauce, even a smidge of ketchup with a kick. Sauce the pig spread has the sauce that'll make your tongue jump out of your face and slap your mama! Ow! <laughs> just slapped myself. I'm not sure if that was even picked up on the mic, but yeah. I just felt like doing that for dramatic effect, but that actually kind of hurt a little. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's some pretty good stuff in the decorative category. Uh, so then there's also these couches over here. This one's kind of interesting. It's like two and one. There's like the line clearly in the middle there. Also has like similar styles to uh, these uh, first chairs over here. And then there's the Ottoman too, which also matches with them. So yeah, it almost feels like you could recolor them to like almost be like with certain color schemes, especially the green one. It just reminds me of the Ultra Lounge living room theme too. <laughs> But uh, yeah, then there's also this new gate, which you can see over here with the room. Then there's these two plants. <laughs> there's like, yeah, you can have like a normal one or this pink one, which is pretty crazy. And then there's a bunch of other color styles too, but I just want to show off those two since they're radically different from each other. Then you have this fountain over here. Almost missed this because it was in the, uh, just like the build mode, but uh, yeah pretty neat. be interesting to see how people use that fountain. And then along here there's like these little uh, pieces that go along the wall here. Uh, this is, These are just like one by one. I just placed a few of these side by side so you can kind of like see that they're meant to be placed beside each other. And then of course <laughs> the two hot tubs! Yes! <laughs> I know I don't talk about hot tubs too much but yeah, I miss hot tubs a lot. That was definitely one of the things I wanted to see back in The Sims 4 the most. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. And they're not just decorative, you can actually do stuff in there. But uh, I do want to actually uh, save that because I want to go over uh, to my actual like normal Let's Play save where I have the hot tub saved in like a more uh, practical setting and then I can uh, show off the some of the features in a unique way <laughs> so yeah I'll get back to you guys in a second and oh my gosh he is mad oh yes and you can watch TV while you're in the hot tub forgot to mention that <laughs> okay so let's focus on the hot tubs here at the apricot apartments that I placed 
in Newcrest as I showed in a previous video. So yeah, I added it to the little uh, pool area over here. So yeah, you can really see that it's like hot tubs really add to the pool atmosphere, which is great because I love having my Sims use pools. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of things to the hot tubs actually. There's more stuff to do with hot tubs in The Sims 4 than there ever have been in any Sims game. So when you click on it, there's like so many interactions, there's upgrade, you can add an aroma therapy filter, which is a completely new thing. And uh, you can help uh, aromatherapy like change emotions and uh, like by having the level three handiness skill. And then you can do a stereo upgrade and you can make it unbreakable. And there's also uh, a very special thing where it's called Theoacetone oil, and uh, according to Sims VIP's guide here, you have to have level 10 mischief skill, level 10 secret agent, a criminal career, and the meaner evil traits. And uh, with this oil, uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, if you uh, use uh, that oil in the hot tub, uh, you'll create a noxious stink, which gives all Sims in your neighborhood the uncomfortable moodlet for four hours. So not just like the Sims on this lot, everybody in this immediate neighborhood here will get the uncomfortable moodlet. So that's really interesting. I, I don't think there's anything that's like that in the Sims 4 other than this, where it's like you do one thing and it actually like affects all the Sims in the whole neighborhood at the time. That's really cool. I definitely applaud EA on that. That's a lot of effort for just like a stuff pack object. Oh my goodness. And uh, yeah, so let's actually show off the hot tub. So you can set the light color, you can woohoo, of course, and skinny dip. So let's just have them all get in. So yeah, you can have eight sims in the hot tub at once, not just four like in previous games. And even kids can go in the hot tub. I mean, that, that's just great. Usually kids are left out of everything. But yeah, the kids can go in the hot tubs, and that's pretty cool. And uh, a lot of the interactions in the hot tub are like what you can do on the couch, so that's good. You have a variety of different interactions. So if I click on her, you can like do all the other things like whisper sweet nothings and uh, kiss and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, even the animations are like, oh, it's so hot. The hot tub. Whoa, she's like going under the water. <laughs> oh, okay, to like change the seats. There you go. Kissing in front of the kid. <laughs> But uh, yeah, hot tubs are pretty awesome. You can set the light color. It's morning right now, so I'll have to show it off a little bit later because, yeah, you can't really see that too well during the day. You can see it a little bit, I guess, but I'll wait until nighttime for that. Oh, uh, so I guess I'll show off the woohoo next, but I think for, th yeah, for that you have to get the other Sims out of the tub. Uh, so let's go over here. And yeah, I did actually make over this a little bit. I added the uh, perfect patio stuff, furniture, so it wasn't just the base game things. Alright, so get back in the hot tub. Okay, get, or just, yeah, let's go right to it. Woohoo and hot tub with Alexis Myers. Wow, okay, I don't know why you wanted to go all the way over to the playground. Okay, let's do the cinematic thing. Let's put the actual, like, the thing over there. Alright. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Wait, just go in there in the meantime. Alright. Alright, let's see this. This is being talked about on Twitter a lot. <laughs> so this should be good. Okay. Just do it! Shia LaBeouf style. Okay. Ooh, hello. Oh, wow! <laughs> Wow. Wow. That is something. It's like all the other woohoos, it's like they just go and disappear to an object, but then it's like, whoa, man. They actually made it, like, they actually made it sexy, which is good because it's woohoo. It's supposed to be sexy. It's good. It's like another ballsy thing in The Sims 4, which is great. There isn't enough of that. Whoa, okay. What just happened there? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. That's definitely the best woohoo in The Sims 4 so far. Wow. 
Because, yeah, not really t too many woohoo spots so far, because, yeah, since The Sims 4 is still pretty new, but this is a really great addition. Wow, even, like, the whole kissing thing. Or is that after the... Uh, yeah, I think that might have been after the woohoo separate interaction at the end there with, like, blowing the kiss, but... Yeah, wow. That is pretty darn awesome. Oh, there's uh, Nikki Lee walking in the background. All right. Uh, yeah, skinny dip together. Sure, why not? <laughs> Might as well show that off. It's not too different, but just to show that you, in fact, can do it, just like in The Sims 3. Uh, okay. Get out and get in. <laughs> ah, this thing is getting in the way. Uh, still a really nice build element to this lot, though. I really like that. So, yep, there they are, skinny dipping in the bathtub. Or, not the bathtub, the hot tub. Uh, oh yeah, there's a moodlet too. Woohoo! In the hot tub. Is it hot in this hot tub or is it just Ronin? Trick question. It's both! Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, I think that's all I can show off for now until nighttime falls. Alright, I'm back yet again. So, it's getting dark and we can already see the differences. So, let's take a look here. Yeah, it's like orange. There's so many different colors, which is really great. There's yellow, and then the blue. You have it like purple. That's really awesome. I have a violet, so or crimson, or red, green. Really cool. I, that's a nice touch. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Maybe you just have them all uh, get in the hot tub. Now that everybody is here, everybody get in, get to the chopper, wake up, everybody, it is hot tub time. All right, cool. And he got it right away. Ah, oh, wow. Oh, are they all hungry or something? Yeah, I guess that's the reason. Ah, uh, okay. She wanted to watch an action movie? Okay. But yeah, overall, uh, this is a really great stuff pack. It definitely is. It's the same price as luxury party stuff, so don't worry about that. But I would, I would actually argue that this is better value for your money than luxury party stuff. Not just because the hot tub is like an object you'll probably use more often than the uh, fountain of mirth and the banquet table, but also just like, even that there's like a new radio station, an entirely new radio station in, uh, in Perfect Patio compared to Luxury Party Stuff, which has like two new songs. That already shows that they put more effort into this stuff pack, which is pretty cool. And I, yeah, the uh, cast to object ratio is a bit more even. So like, I know some people were kind of criticizing that, but there's a little bit more even mix this time I think there's more objects, maybe like a couple more objects, but it's not like by a drastic amount. And yeah, this is definitely something that I'm gonna continue using, and it's kind of nice. It's just like combined that the fact we got Newcrest, a whole new free world, just last week, which is where this is. That's pretty nice. It's like it's not like all in the same day, but like close together, we got like a decent amount of new content. But still, I'm waiting on that next game pack, though. I was kind of hoping we would get, like, a summer fun-themed game pack, as I talked about in my initial info slash thoughts video on this. But, yeah, now I feel like this stuff pack might have killed that any chances of that happening. But we'll wait and see. I mean, they put in two tropical worlds in The Sims 3, Sunlit Tides, and Isla Paradiso, and they managed to be different enough. So, yeah, well... Just see uh, if we do get like a summer fun uh, game pack. That would be really cool. Add like slides and diving boards and stuff like that. But yeah, overall, I highly recommend this. If you have $10 to spend, then uh, definitely go ahead and do that. I don't think you'll regret it. And uh, again, stuff pack is like a weird name to call like these Sims 4 stuff packs because these feel more comparable to the store premium content packs for the Sims 3. Because it's like, yeah, it was like, those were slightly more expensive, but they also had like the same amount of items. So, yeah, it's just radically differently done from 
uh, Sims 3 stuff packs. So that might be something you'll have to get used to if you've been playing The Sims since The Sims 2 or The Sims 3. But uh, yeah, other than that, this is really great. So uh, definitely uh, go and buy this on Origin. It's only available on Origin. It's not physical un unless they do change their minds and decide to do that in the future. But for right now, it's only on Origin. So uh, yeah, I'll leave a link in the video description below to uh, go and buy that. And uh, yeah, be sure to leave a like or a comment, even subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, because it lets me know that you're like my channel and my videos and helps you keep up to date with the latest content for me, including uh, my latest Let's Plays and showcases on lots and custom content and my info slash thoughts videos uh, on the latest news with The Sims and other fun stuff like doing on my channel like Sonic the Hedgehog games and uh, the random indie game 3 and uh, much more. So yeah, I will talk to you later guys and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh man. Hot tubs. I miss those so much. <laughs>